It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. It really, really, really pains me to make this video, but I had to make this video in regards to Naughty Dog. Now, when I was a little kid, I grew up on like a lot of stuff in regards to Naughty Dog. I played Crash Bandicoot throughout my childhood. I played Jack and Dexter. I played Uncharted. And I also played the first ever Last of Us on the PS3 when I was growing up with their products. And for the most part, I had no problems with their products. Almost all the products that they had was fantastic. And so naturally, prior to this whole entire shit show going on right now, I had nothing but respect for the company and of course the people and the creators behind these games. Until now at least. As I record this video, there has been nothing but various different reports that I see on social media where basically Naughty Dog is actually false flagging videos just because they talked about the spoilers for the new Last of Us Part 2. As you guys probably know, like basically the spoilers from The Last of Us Part 2 have been leaked on the internet. And of course, like there has been many people talking about the spoilers. And of course, naturally when people talk about the spoilers, they don't show the video clips, they just talk about it. However, even though they don't have the footage or the images or whatever, basically Naughty Dog decided to put it upon themselves to false flag videos that talk about the content that was spoiled. Now, according to various laws, of course, like false flagging a video is blatantly illegal. And matter of fact, if a person or like a group of people was actually caught false flagging a video just because they talked about something, they can actually spend some time in jail. I am not even joking. There are actually a law that blatantly said that if you do like the FOSS DMCA, you can actually spend jail time. And so naturally, if a person or like a group of people go after Naughty Dog for FOSS flagging videos, then obviously Naughty Dog is gonna lose big time. I honestly cannot comprehend the mentality of a group of people or a company going after YouTube videos just because they talked about widely available information. Look guys, I am not on the side of a hacker. As a matter of fact, I think the hacker's action was really bad. I don't think it's actually a good idea to leak that kind of information out until the game is out. But for God's sake, guys, we're talking about widely available information, not gameplay footage, just talking about what they saw on the internet and they're false flogging people just because they talk about it. What kind of nonsense is this? What kind of abuse of the DMCA is like this? Like, come on, guys. If you really, really think you get away with this kind of stuff, I'm telling you guys, you would actually lose entirely in court. It's not just the false flagging of Naughty Dog that got my attention, but also how they blatantly just mistreat the employees according to various articles and testimonies of these formal employees. Basically, they were talking about how the employees are underpaid, that they're not actually, you know, good during crunch time, and these awful stories. I'm just sitting here and thinking to myself, like, how is this conditions, like, no different than some sort of Chinese sweatshop? Like, dude, you have employees. You should take good care of your employees. Like, why are you guys, you know, taking such crappy care of your employees? How come you're underpaying your employees? Like, I'm kind of flabbergasted by this kind of nonsense. And also, let's not forget about how the director is, like, super uber feminist. Like, he was going on and on and on about how basically if there's like sexy women in video games, that's actually misogynistic and that more games should have less sexy women. Which is kind of stupid. Like, how come games cannot have sexy women? It does not make any sense. Like, basically, can a person not be so sex? Like, can a person have a good personality? 
and be sexy. Like, there's like tons and tons of females, right? Tons of gaming females that are sexy, that have good personalities, and also, if it's like the same thing for guys too, like, I don't understand this sort of double standard of us thinking that it's okay to sexualize these guys, but when it comes down to the women, like, of course, that's evil. That's misogynistic. Like, I don't get it. So, yeah. Naughty dog, naughty dog, naughty dog. The whole entire company just changed for the worse. Like, they started to have gender politics. They are false flagging videos of people talking about spoilers. Not talking about, like, the gameplay. Just talking about it. And, of course, they freak, <laughs> they freaking treat their employees like dog shit. Like, I don't know what to feel about this. Like, they're like the same company I grew up on when I was a kid, right? So, to see this kind of company just go down just like that, it's just amazing. But, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you all next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.